just about to step into a PD for the teachers. It's their first day back at school for term three. And it's our mission to win them over with the, the joys, beauties, and um, outcomes of the project. Get them all on side and make the next five weeks easy and fun for us all. stories up here and I can't wait for the final day and how it's gonna all come together and how the kids gonna perform and you know looking at their faces. What story are you gonna know? Huh? Huh? Dream story. Dream time, right, 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 right. I gotta tell you more a story a long time ago, my my mom and my dad been telling about my story, my jaja and Javi. Tell you all the story about um, this butcher bird, Kora Kora. I feel real uh, proud to be telling stories to these children in school here. They can, like they can know from hearts and they can know from like a cardiac side, you know, the white people, they can know that sort of thing. And next time, maybe they might come into us, like a, coming to Aboriginal people, all of them might uh, say, yeah, I've got a bit of story, or that kind of thing, yeah. Or well, they go ahead with us, you know. It was great to have them c come in and tell their stories, because I wanted to hear stories from the elders before, but and I didn't really know much people to tell, tell me that. Because they could have important lessons and sometimes they could have information for when we go to the river, we know they can tell us what fruit or animal that we can, we can touch or not touch. Favorite dream time story is with the pigs, Pangano lizard. And why? because I liked it when it came from the Wanwajeri country into the Kuneti country. I am making uh, animation with blocks. We got some shy kids that already look like they're enjoying themselves, like they're into it, wouldn't expect you know, them doing it. Usually when you grow, go around and look at them in their groups, they usually pull back. But no, they look like they just, you know, going for it. And Having theater camera around is fun because we do documentary with iPads and cameras. We are going to experience the Dede Kimberley at our school. First, we are going to check out the circus workshop. I want to. I want to. To them closer to each other. You don't wait so much. You don't wait so much because you will walk forward. <laughs> Already got their stories from some old people. Now they they're putting it all together. We're gonna have a look at animation today and see what they're up to. Well, no, no. And who put this first? First, second, third, third, and the last fourth, 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 fifth. fifth. It, it makes them fly. It makes it like ding, like a real ding. The Kimberley Theatre is going to be here for about five weeks and um, let's go and have a look out 
who's Sete and Rachel. What are you preparing for this performance? Well, the, it's a dance component. I'm working with Rachel, and we're working on creating uh, different scenes for the kangaroo dance, which is a big feature of the show. This was an old hose pipe that the Sandy found at the tip. Why do you like puppetry? Because it's fun. What are you making? A bird. What kind of bird? Rainbow beetle. Thank you. I'm excited because I can see everything going on in the school where everyone's practicing different things and so I think when it all comes together like the puppetry and the dancing and the circus is going to look amazing. are doing very well. They were well. They need to not to be shy. They're gonna come out there, express them. So, you know, don't don't hide them in there. You know, don't be shy. And in the future, there'll be there'll be somebody.